just focus on the words that I repeat back to you. Chris G. asks, have you considered starting an OnlyFans? Well, Chris, I must admit that I have been asked this question many, many times, but I can say that I have no plans right now to create an OnlyFans account, as I feel like it may gain me popularity in ways that That's me assuming that OnlyFans is purely sexual. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But from what I understand, it's mostly of that nature. And that's not exactly something I'd like to get into. Sorry to disappoint, Chris. Firstborn Unicorn asks, How old are you? Well, Unicorn, I am very, very old. I'm actually 35 years old currently, but my birthday is in July. So I will soon be getting older. David asks, What's your zodiac sign? Well, David, my zodiac sign is the lion, a Leo, and very, very proud. I think it's one of the most powerful signs, if I do say so myself. And I think I lucked out in becoming one. Sam Fendi Fender asks, this is random, but do you like Fortnite? Well, Sam, I played Fortnite at one point. But I was just so terrible at it that I decided not to play any further. I hope that's not super disappointing. But I would definitely give the game another shot if I ever found the right people to play with. Joey Dents asks, did you get, did you get FPS, PS5 yet? Did you get the PS5? Joey, I managed to get myself a PS5 about six months ago now, and I have been enjoying it thoroughly. I have been playing a lot of Spider-Man, which you may have guessed, but I do need some advice on what I should be playing next, so if you have any recommendations, recommendations, feel free to let me know so that I can Gifts de Pokemon, I like that name, sounds very French, it says, what is your aspiration in life? Well, Pokemon, it's to catch them all. No, my aspiration in life is to become a paid full-time filmmaker who has 
lacks the ability to produce his own original ideas. That would be my biggest aspiration in life. That, I must say, I am currently working towards. Jakey Jake asks, Tom Holland, Toby McGuire, Spider-Man, Jake, 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 you had to pin this question, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to give Tom Holland the credit where it's due. I feel like Tom Holland is the most accurate representation of Spider-Man that we've seen on film, but, but, I must say that I grew up on Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man as it was the first real-life screen adaptation that I had seen, and I was absolutely in love with that film, so much so that I made my own Spider-Man fan film back in high school, shortly after its release, and I remember being uh, teased for it because we had the costumes and everything but once people actually seen the film they were a little bit impressed so it worked out in the end Aldo G says do you believe in reincarnation hmm That's a really interesting question. I'm not exactly sure what happens to us when we die, but I believe reincarnation is definitely a possibility, only because in science they say that energy can never be destroyed. Displaced. So, I feel like our energy or souls, if you will, have to go somewhere. Whether or not they come back is interesting. My reverse question for you would be, what would you want to be reincarnated as? I'd want to be a shark or a bird. I feel like either one of those would be quite appealing. Kirby Lizzie Art says, If you could travel anywhere tomorrow, where would you go and why? I would travel the cosmos. I know most people would probably say the beach or somewhere they can relax, but I feel like if I was able to travel through space without burning up or freezing or dying, I would love to just drift through the cosmos, looking at all the stars, with no light pollution. I feel like it would be very calming and relaxing and probably pretty eye-opening. David says, do you think we as humans have the right and should go to Mars? I think uh, we have no choice but to travel to other planets or our species won't survive if 
you do some research into what will happen to all of the planets next to our sun, you'll realize that eventually we're going to have to find our way off this planet. Which kind of coincides with the previous question. Plucky Smurf asks, Who, what, is the biggest villain in Brando's world? Desperately in need, a hero to stop them. Now, I'm not sure, Plucky, are you referring to a fictional character or, or somebody in the real world that we consider to be a villain? I think with the current scheme of things, I would have to go with Mr. Vladimir Putin. I feel like he's a villain who needs to be stopped right now before he causes me to get very upset. Libra asks, what would your dream role to play as an actor be besides Batman? I like playing characters who are very different from myself. I feel like playing a villain would be the most fun as you can really step outside yourself and get a reaction out of the audience by being something a little more sinister or out of the norm. I think uh, I think that would be a fun role to play of any sort. Maybe a Bond villain. That would be a lot of fun. Aditya says, or asks rather, which games do you currently enjoy playing? As I said earlier, definitely Spider-Man. But an odd one I've been enjoying recently is WWE 2K19. I really love the fact that you can create your own characters and have them fight against each other. I often try to create people from my life and have them go through crazy, dramatic scenarios, throwing each other through tables, climbing on cages, and doing things that you can't really do normally in life. I think it's kind of fun to um, make my brother and I fight in the game or some of my friends that uh, I've created from real life. A. Buke asks, what's your favorite ASMR trigger? I think my favorite trigger of them all has to be... Uh, a relaxing voice. I feel like at the end of the day, the best ASMR trigger is a voice, which is probably why I rely on it so heavily. I find certain triggers sometimes take me out of an ASMR mood or almost remind me that I'm watching ASMR. Whereas I enjoy it as more of a personal, one-on-one -on -one experience. Golden Memories asks, what's your favorite Spider-Man story? My favorite Spider-Man story is a dark one where Otto Octavius takes over the body of Peter Parker. Uh, why if you're he replaces the bodies with him and sticks him in his dying body and takes over as Spider-Man. It's a very dark story, but it's very interesting and has an odd twist at the end. So I think that is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man stories. 
Running Geek Girl asks, what's a crazy goal you've set for yourself? Running Geek Girl, um, a crazy goal that I have, that I've kind of already mentioned, is to become a full-time filmmaker, um, which has been very difficult to try and make a living off of over the past few years, but it seems we're starting to find a bit of a rhythm, so that would be my main goal, if possible, in life. A deal asks, do you collect anything? Well, it's funny you should ask, because about a week ago, I sold off. 561 Funko Pops that I had. Uh, I was collecting for about two years and amassed a very, very large collection. Um, so I don't necessarily collect them at this moment, but I feel like I might get back into it as long as I don't reach 561 again. Brianna says, what made you want to start doing ASMR videos or YouTube? Well, Brianna, when I was going through chemotherapy treatments a long while back, about 10 years ago, I found ASMR on the internet and it actually really helped me get through that tough time and it inspired me to want to create some of my own videos once I was feeling better. I remember finding ASMR Massage, Dimitri's channel, and he did an eye doctor role play. And at first I remember watching it thinking, what the hell is this? And why would people watch it? Until I started calming down and noticed that it really did work for me. So that was kind of the inception for getting started with ASMR. Alyssa, how do you come up with ideas for the darker role-playing videos you do? Alyssa, often the characters or ideas that I come up with are usually inspired by props or costume pieces that I find in everyday life that usually trigger some sort of imaginative response. And I start thinking of all these different characters and scenarios that I could do with it. And of course, I love playing darker characters because I find them so fascinating as it's so different from our daily lives. So I think that's why I enjoy doing darker role plays. Kelsey, or Casey rather, asks, do you listen to ASMR? And if so, favorite triggers? I do, in fact, listen to ASMR, and my favorite triggers are uh, voices. I find a voice to be the best ASMR trigger for me, as sometimes random noises don't really relax me and tend to pull me out of ASMR at times. Capricious Aquarius asks, A genie grants you endless money for 24 hours. What would you do? One, I would end world hunger. I would give everybody one million dollars. And I'd probably think of creating the world's most expensive film ever. Which means we would just probably destroy a lot of things because
because that's always fun. But uh, yeah, I think that's what I would do. I think I'd much prefer having the ability to make wishes rather than just have a large sum of money, but I'll take either or. Salvatore says, if you can time travel forward or backwards to any day, what day would you choose? I think I would stay in the present as I wouldn't want to go backwards. And I feel like forwards would make you miss out on a lot. But it doesn't say that you'd have to be stuck there. So if I could go back or forwards, I think I would go back in time and see what the dinosaurs really looked like. Hopefully I would survive, but I'd want to go to the Jurassic period and see what a T-Rex is all about. IRL. JP says, what makes you the most proud when it comes to the channel? JP, I think my biggest accomplishments or the best thing that I think I've received from the channel is when somebody who is suffering or going through something messages me and tells me that they were able to find peace or to relax a little bit or that uh, I gave them a couple minutes of calmness or allowed them to fall asleep I'm thankful for that because I feel like it's something in life that you can't buy and that's kind of special on a whole different level to give somebody and having used ASMR while I was going through cancer I know it helps and how important it can be for people so JP the most rewarding thing I get from it is seeing you guys happy and enjoying. Mano says, what would you sing at a karaoke night? Good question. I'd have to sing something in a deep tone or maybe a lullaby to kind of hush you to sleep. But I think if I were to just but if I were to just have fun with it, I think I'd sing something like YMCA or that song that's a war. <laughs> good God, Joe, what is it good for? I think I'd do that one just to have some fun with people and get them involved in the song. Pixagirl85 asks, do you have any pets? If you consider a Venus flytrap a pet, then yes, I have a pet. But if you don't, then unfortunately, I do not. I have been wanting to get a dog for the past year and a half or so. But unfortunately, where I live right now, I am unable to do so, but hoping that will change in the next year or so. Fingers crossed. You decide what my name is. All right, Tim. You're now Tim. Deep question, Tim, says, what's your ultimate goal in life? So I've already kind of gone over this one, and to give a quick summary, Tim, it's to become a professional, full-time filmmaker, if possible. Cheeto in a puddle. That's kind of sad. Nobody wants a soggy Cheeto. What video are you most proud of and why? I think my favorite video and the one I'm most proud of is the original Dr. Acula roleplay that I did. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, and it seemed to have gained uh, a cult-like following, as it's one of my most requested repeat 
role plays. So I'm really happy that uh, people seem to have enjoyed one of my characters turned ASMR. Johnny Wales asks, what's one food item that you absolutely refuse to eat? Johnny, I'm not going to lie to you. I am incredibly picky, so I tend to not like a lot of food items, especially if it's creamy. If it's got a creamy kind of slimy texture to it, I am 100% out. And most vegetables as well. I am almost nearly 100% carnivore, and that is not a joke. Jordan R. asks, which Funko Pops are your absolute favorite? It seems this is going to come up right now, now that I've gotten rid of them all, and I'm sad about it. I think the black light versions of the Funko Pops are my favorite. I seem to have this weird obsession with anything that is neon, or that glows in the dark. I don't know why. But if it contains some si some sort of glowing phosphorus, I want it, and I love it. Kieran asks, ooh, Q&A, okay, questions. Where does your interest or love for the Marvel and DC stuff come from? Well, Kieran, when I was younger, uh, I used to travel a lot and my family moved across the world. So every time we would take a road trip or a plane trip, my father would always take us to a comic book store and let us pick up three issues each, me and my brother, depending on how long the trip was. And I remember just falling in love with the idea that there were superheroes or these fantastic ideas that existed outside the norm. That there they were these people that were kind of spectacular or that put themselves on the line to help other people. I always just loved underdog stories or heroic stories and growing up I think having those comics around me has definitely bled into my adult life as I still love Marvel movies and superheroes. I'm not sure that will ever change, although I do think they could really slow down on some of the Marvel movies lately. Anyways, that's my little Q&A session. I actually had to record this twice as I did this once already. So hopefully the second one is better than the first. And hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.